Ni hao! I'm the Noodle Hunter! And I've got something from the lands of China! Instant chow mein! Dried chili spicy sauce flavoured by the company Jin Mai Lang. Weighing in at 148 grams of dry weight and a calorie content of approximately 700. I reviewed something very similar in the past. I believe it was the red sauce spicy flavour. Huh. You can find that video in the description box below, but the flavours sound very similar. They seem to have a bit of a spicy theme to it, and I wonder if each one has a more hotter burning sensation. So, will my tongue get third degree burns when I eat it? I guess we'll find out by giving it a taste test. Inside we have of course the noodles. These noodles are locked fresh with that evil plastic that pollutes the earth. And the noodles look a bit darker on the brown side as well. It also includes the spicy chili sauce. Ooh, now that looks extremely dangerous. Only because you can see the chili seeds that are included in this oil. Holy moly. I have a pretty good feeling that I'm going to get third degree burns on my tongue. But moving on to the dry ingredients that are included to garnish the instant noodle. And I don't know what this is, but I think it might be seasoning sauce. But I'll find out when I open it up. Alright, let's move on to the next part. And before that, we're going to read the instructions. So according to the instructions, we gotta add the dry ingredients first and it looks like it is a non-stove top instant noodle because it's telling us to just pour boiling water inside the line of the box. And I almost forgot, it also comes with chopsticks. Oh yeah, these instant noodles are speaking with my Asian soul. <laughs> okay, let's open up the plastic plastic of the, uh, not my English, this plastic up and add the dry ingredients in. And there's nothing special about these dry ingredients, it looks like it just adds a bit of green to it. And you know what it's time for? It's time to boil these noodles. Alright, let's just pour it to the top. There we go. Oh, I think there's a line somewhere, I'm not sure how full I'm meant to do it. But I'm going to try to submerge it quite deep into the water of doom and heat. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm just yammering on right now. This looks about right. I don't think you want to put too much in. There we go. Nice. Looking sweet. And I'm going to flip the noodles once to put... Oh wait, will I make it in time? I'm probably not going to make it in time. I'm just going to submerge it. There we go. I'm going to now grab my protective handy dandy protection tool. Oh uh, gosh, there's not enough space on this table. Uh, bam. And then quickly close the lid to keep the heat inside. Oh yeah. And I believe, how many minutes are we meant to wait for? It says to wait for three arduous minutes. And I forgot to mention, it also comes with these little handy dandy things you can hold on to so that you don't burn yourself while you drain these noodles. So I've drained the water out of these noodles. Now it's time to season these noodles. So let's begin by removing the lid. Oh, bam! Oh, that garnish actually looks really good. When it's been rehydrated, it looks like it will give a bit of extra texture to the noodles. Oh, yes! Now, I feel a little bit healthier. <laughs> okay, let's begin. Yes, that was definitely the soy sauce. I'm gonna give it a taste. <laughs> it literally just tastes like soy sauce. I was expecting a little bit more extra kick. But it was all like soy sauce was a little bit tinginess of sourness to it. My English has failed me again. Uh, now to add the evil spicy sauce. Oh. Whoa, look at that red. It's that sort of red that you know it's going to give you that lava burning experience in your bowels. Let's take a shot. Ooh. Huh. Wait. <coughs> it's actually not that spicy. That's good. The chili flakes that are in this, that's in that oil, has flavor. It has this kind of like combination of beefy chicken like earthiness to it. That's grande. Okay, let's mix it up real quick. Mm. 
And it wouldn't be the Noodle Channel if I didn't do this. So, are you guys ready for the grand opening of dried chili spicy sauce instant chow mein by Jin Mai Lang? Whoa, damn, look at that. If they served this to me at a restaurant, I would be fooled to think that this was genuine non-instant noodles. And since there isn't any soup, we're gonna taste the flavors and the noodles all at the same time. And now to grab my mystical chopsticks and replace them with the wooden chopsticks they've included. Bam! Oh, <laughs> it's truly a sad time when you split the chopsticks apart. It's not perfectly symmetrical. But oh well, it's time to give it a taste. Oh yeah, grab me trusty spoon to place my spoon down and grabbing my alternative chopsticks. Oh, I feel like I'm betraying my plastic ones, but only for these noodles or any other noodles that include chopsticks. Oh, nice. Tell you what though, it feels very weird using these chopsticks. I'm so much more used to the shape of the plastic ones I have. Okay. Oh, let's go. Mmm. You can really taste the soy sauce and it's complemented by the like beefy, meaty like chili flakes that come with it. And these noodles are really quite nice. I'm gonna have to take another bite. Here we go. Bam. Uh, but I will have to say these noodles, like the other Jin Mai Lang that I did that are similar to these, do not taste like restaurant quality noodles. They taste like yucky soba noodles that are cooked at a Japanese festival, that sort of texture, but it just doesn't have that, you know, restaurant feel. It has more of a, I bought this from a street stand feel, which isn't a bad thing though. Mmm, well, that soy sauce really gives it the extra edge. It gives it that subtly bit sweet, like tanginess to it. Then it hits you with that, that soy sauce flavor. It's quite, quite good. And the chili flakes that come with it actually add a bit of crunch to it as well. That's kind of a really good element to have in instant noodles instead of it all being soft and flavorsome, but having extra layers of texture when you chew on it. Let's grab um, some, see if I can find any garnish. Oh, here we go, they're all in the corner. Bam, garnish. Get some more noodles. Bam, and then soup it up, or soup it up. It's not a soup, it is a dry stir-fry noodle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The flavor of these noodles are definitely restaurant quality. So I'm gonna give it a solid 10 out of 10. But the noodles itself, it's good, but it's not quite there. So I'm gonna give it a solid 7.75. Yes, out of 10. It's kind of hard in trying to make numbers out of your fingers when you can't you know, cut them and they'll grow back. I wish I was a lizard, you know. Well, that was a bit of a sidetrack. But other than that, there's nothing much else to say to it. If they included more garnish, it would be even greater. But I highly recommend these noodles. They're not too spicy. It's only like maybe a spiciness level of, you know, two out of 10. It's like the lava flowing from Mount Fuji. It doesn't exist at all. Just enough to maybe just give you that a peppery burn. So it does exist a little bit. I don't, know, I, was, I don't know where I was going with that, so I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of The Noodle Hunter. Hit that subscribe button and like button as well. Sorry, and the, notifi and the notification, blah, 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 notification bell as well to continue following me on YouTube. Um, leave a like behind and leave a comment as well so I know you're watching my videos. Alright, I'll see you guys all next time.